Hi folks, this is going to be a little bit different. Uh, if you're looking for a scam bait video, please go and check one of these other fine channels out. This is going to be more of me complaining about YouTube than anything else. And uh, just want to let you know ahead of time. Okay, on February 26th, I put up a video about a Roku support scam video. And uh, later that night, I got a call from a friend who said the video had been taken down. So I went to my YouTube channel, and this is what I found. Um, attention about community guidelines, video restrictions. Uh, you can pause and read it if you want. It's a big, long thing. And you can't even get out of it unless you acknowledge that you received this important message. Uh, you can't get to your channel, you can't get to anything until you acknowledge your violation. So when I finally got to my channel, I saw, yeah, sure enough, it's down. Uh, and I had this over here. I clicked that. It was a help thing. So it took me a while to figure out what they were talking about. Finally, I get to it and I see I got a guide, community guideline strike. And it says your community, your video is violated something so i click on it and it says harmful or dangerous comment so here's what it says basically uh videos that we, i was charged with harmful or dangerous comment content content videos we consider encourage dangerous or illegal activities include instructional bomb making choking games hard drug use or other acts for serious injury may result. My video was about a scam run by a fake outfit doing Roku support. How that is dangerous or illegal or encourages anybody to do anything stupid, I don't know. But that's what I was charged with. And uh, the YouTube police apparently operate just like the fake IRS. You're guilty right off the bat. You don't get any due process or anything else. If somebody makes a, a strike on it, they just take your video down. And unless you appeal it, it stays down for however long they want. I think it's a month or something. But uh, I didn't think it was right, so naturally I uh, appealed it. So here's the email that came with my violation. And uh, they told me basically the same thing I said in the other thing. But anyways, they sent me an email and uh, that they took it down. So, of course, then I had to go through the appeal. So this morning I look and my video's back up again. I check my email and I get a Dear Wenja letter uh, thanking me for submitting my appeal. And after further review, they have determined that my video didn't violate their community guidelines, has been reinstated, and my account is now in good standing again. Sincerely, the YouTube team. So basically, YouTube decided to take my video down for no reason at all. Which may not seem like a big deal to some people, but to a small channel like mine, it's kind of a big deal. At the time that the video was taken down and had 720 views. I know that's not a lot, but I'm a small channel, and it's a lot to me. So who knows how many views I lost while it was taken down, and uh, people who were notified that there was a new video of mine up went there, and it wasn't there. I just don't understand how they can just willy-nilly take stuff down without looking at it first. If they would have looked at it, they would have seen there was nothing in there about bomb making or any other foolishness they said I did. And for anybody that thinks I'm whining about this because my channel's monetized, here's how much money I've made. That just about paid for the new microphone I got. Uh, small channels like mine don't get rich off this thing. So it's not about the money. It's definitely not about the money. I do this because I enjoy doing it. And I like putting the videos up. And that's all there is to it. It's got nothing to do with money. Now if it was a big channel with 100,000 subs, yeah, it probably would be about more money. But 
This has nothing to do with money. Just let me guarantee you that. Now, you guys saw how quick it was for YouTube to take my video down. I don't know how many remember last summer some guy was impersonating me. <clears throat> made a, uh, basically cloned my channel. I know I complained. I know a lot of my subs complained and flagged his, uh, his uh, channel and uh, nothing was done. In fact, I'm going to show you it's still there. It's still up. Okay, we're going to go to the other guy's channel, the fake me, and there it is. It's even got one of my videos on it. I don't know how that got there. But if you look here at the uh, avatar that he uses, that's what I used to use. I changed it since then to this one. And, uh, but the channel's still there. I, he was on Scambate Joe's live channel used all kinds of racial slurs and all this other stuff bad language and threatening. I don't know what the hell he was doing. But anyways, everybody complained about it and flagged this channel. And there it is still there. But somebody flags one of my videos and it's immediately taken down. But somebody can clone your channel, act as you go to live streams and make it look like it's you doing all this swearing. Luckily, everybody on the live stream knew I don't talk like that, so they knew it wasn't me. But the, the point of the thing is, this guy's still there, and they aren't doing anything about it. So thanks for listening to me. Let me get this off my chest. Uh, I'm going to leave a link down below of another guy who was really mad at YouTube. And also the link to the fake me. And uh, maybe if it's flagged enough, they'll do something, maybe not. And remember, no drugs, no bombs, and no, what was the other, no choking. I just want to make sure I get that in there so they don't take this video down, because you know how the YouTube police are, I don't want to be taken down. So I'm reminding everybody, no bombs, no drugs, and no choking. Thank you.